ओवरऑल बेवरेज इंडस्ट्री कंज्यूम्स ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बिलियन लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर एंड ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी परसेंट इज कमिंग फ्राम ग्राउंड वाटर सोर्सेज सो इट्स अूज अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर कंजम्पन विच करेंटली दे आर रिलाइंग ऑन अ नॉन रिन्यूएबल डिप्लीटिंग सोर्स बट ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी परसेंट इन मोस्ट बेवरेज इज वाटर सो दैट बी गेम लाइक अ निश यू नो वेयर वी कैन टारगेट एंड ओवरऑल द बेवरेज इंडस्ट्री ऑलमोस्ट अ टू ट्रिलियन डॉलर मार्केट सो हियर ऑल्सो वॉट वी थॉट इज you know instead of going into say mass beverages which require lot of scale lot of water let's just focus on say premium uh, beverage products craft products or rather you know just alcoholic products so what happens is say you buy a bottle of beer which is almost 200 rupees and then the amount of water in that will be you know hardly 650 ml to up to 1 liter so now even if you replace that water with a water which is 2 3 rupees more your 200 rupee bottle with added margins might become 205 or 20 2210 so that's not a very big difference in you know the premium any consumer is paying and beverage companies could also pass that cost to these consumers so that was the idea that you know how do you find a product category or rather an industry where this cost seems less overall so beverage industry you know really fits that so beer is just for example if you take say liquor products whisky gin you know nowadays uh, these bottles are available at uh, even 1500 to 2000 rupees and if you add water cost of 2 3 rupee extra it's gonna get hidden but uh, for beverage industries there are two value additions one is on the back end they are you know saving lots of ground water which uh, they would have you know like either depleted or used excessively so they are trying to address some of their sustainability goals and on from the consumer side it also gives them a marketing tool in their kitty so you know the now uh, water or beverage uh, is a tangible water in that is a very tangible thing so you know once you hold a bottle of beer which is made with renewable water you can also market it in a way that you know, it's a sustainable beer made from air so it's also a marketing tool for them so i would say you know kind of uh, becomes like a win win for beverage industry for us for consumers so beverage industry kind of became a target market